Hey everybody, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Today I wanted to show you real quick how you can work with recurring tasks or things that you want to have repeated. Uh, this is a really cool feature of Todoist that I really like. Um, I'm sure it's implemented in uh, several of the other <clears throat> apps you know you can use out there. I know you can set up stuff in Evernote. Um, I used to use that for recurring things as well. But uh, I've been using Todoist a lot lately, so um, this was something I've heard uh, of a lot of questions about, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show you how to do this. So here we are, we're just in the main area in Todoist, and we're going to create a new task. And let's say, for example, we're working on you know a new habit. So we want to finish a book or you know get in the habit of reading a book. So we're going to say, um, read one chapter of new book or you know book title whatever you want to do I'm gonna leave it in the inbox and then this is where you have a lot of choices when you click over here to the due date um, let's say you want to make this a weekly a weekday type of thing you could say every weekday at 3 p.m. and from there you can further you know add some you know priorities you could make this bring it up from a base priority to actually um, you know moving it up um, so let's see what this looks like and then I'll show you some of the other options okay so you can see the priority with the color here and it's at 3 p.m. and then you get this little you know kinda like that loading icon on a lot of things and that just tells you that it's a recurring task so when you click complete over here <clears throat> it'll pop up automatically on the next day it's supposed to in this case since it's a Wednesday if I click complete it would still be there tomorrow so I'll let me show you an example so I'm gonna go ahead and click it Okay, it's done for today, and then we, if we look at the next seven days, you'll see tomorrow it's already set up. So, pretty handy. Um, now, just to, for some more options. So you can do things like um, weekends or certain days of the week, like you could re repeat it on Thursdays at, you know, at 3 p.m. or whatever. Um, and then to, uh, Todoist has got a good page with a lot of their options on their support um, area. And so you can see all of the different options you would have, um, you know, you can, and the, and basically the formatting for what you can type, because you can't type just anything you want in here into the dates, but it's pretty flexible. Like you saw me, I just typed, you know, weekdays at uh, 3 p.m. and that works. You know, you can do Thursdays, so you don't have to include a time. Um, you can use, <clears throat> you know, a bunch of different formats for this. Um, and then you can do, you know, here we go is even more the 27th you know so you could have it set for a specific day of the month or you could have it every third Friday like that so anyways really flexible handy and easy to use so hopefully this helps you out uh, start using them I have uh, put them to great use you know probably a third of my tasks are some sort of recurring and I find them really helpful especially for creating new habits things like reading um, you know getting back into the habit of you know reading some new books or um, you know, maybe doing <clears throat> the daily review is another one that I use it for. So anyways, again, hope this helps.